Uh, notice now I am logged in again as a project manager and notice the changes to the home screen. Right now I see the project is here. Now I, I will not go through explain the detail of what appear in this box. Uh, let me stay focused on the project setup and notice there are notification appearing here and you, so now we start to see more notification and if you look at the bell there are two notification here so if we click and view all notification and what you can see is that uh, you have been the following project was activated so now we know that right so the project has been activated and then you have been assigned as a project manager. So which mean you, which mean me in this case, whoever on as a user using the screen right now. So I'm assigned as a project manager. What can I do? I can go in and go back. So what can I do now? So right now we have, we can always edit the project. Okay. And the project is activated. So that's it. I cannot activate it again unless we put it on hold. Now I can go and what I do is select a tailored method. So that is the critical step right now because the platform include many tailored methods that we have built in today. Now for tailored method, we will have another video on that. We will not explain the detail at this time. What we are showing right now is that you can come here and you can see, for example, depend on what industry and domain you are working in. If you are in capital project like oil and gas, utilities, you know, obviously capital project would work for you or technology. Uh, we don't have method for all of these now, but we are we are starting to add a lot of methods. But let's say, you know, you don't see your sector here. Then in that case, you select general project. Right. And under general project, you can see only one domain. But let me show you what the functionality is. So let's say we choose a capital project. Ultimately, we will have and we will add more, much more. Right now, under the sector, we have domains. So we have process industries, buildings, and generic capital project. Under technology project, we have some domain. Under academic project, we have some. So in the future, every time you click, you select a sector, the domain that are relevant to it will appear. Okay, now if I can click on something, then maybe it will tell me that I don't have a tailored method. Uh, if I go on, um, process industry for example i go to categories right now we're showing no categories but in the future there will be categories so to select the project type there are three steps sector domain and category now why the category let's say we have capital project we have process industry now process industry could mean oil and gas right and here in the future we could have offshore onshore turnaround project so the idea of why we have three levels here is because we want to have the tailored method as specialized as possible. Right now, there are a lot of them are very generic, but as we start to work with client and we start to develop new tailored method and very specific tailored method, we will have them in the system. There will be many, many more options here, right? Uh, so obviously, in, in no category. Now notice uh, that the get tailored method is already here which means now you can see a list of tailored method. Now you notice many that are relevant based on those selection. However, what we want to achieve, we want to have one tailored method recommended. Okay, one tailored method recommended. So we can continue the more choices we make. Obviously we did when we did this, if I cancel this, uh, when we did capital project and let's say buildings, I can already see some so I will see everything that belong to these categories. They could be five, six, or ten methods. Uh, if I scroll down, they will be more share, uh, more narrowed down. So now let's say you are in an industry you don't have any, uh, you, you don't see your sector here. Maybe you are in defense or pharmaceutical or hospitality, and for the time being you have to. Uh, either we will need to work with you to create a tailored method, or you accept the choices that we have built in so far. So you can start with general project and right now we don't have any domain or any domain underneath it. So it's generic and no category. We, we keep these here for selection. Now, once you select the type, now I know I have, if I click on tailored method, I will see all the project uh, type belonging to this category. So let's, let me just show you. 
in this case, we are seeing how many we see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven method here, right? So, you know, you don't want to waste a lot of time going through and reading, so uh, you just select. So let's say we want to select what we classify. These are the project classification, which is based on size and complexity. Now. These are arbitrary right now. These are our choices. But again, in general, you know, there are some guidelines. Obviously, if you are in general project, a micro project might be something that two, three people working on for a few weeks. Whereas in a capital project, a micro project could be $2 million, right? Uh, so this is right now subjective and it, we, we have to maybe work with you on that. So let's say a small, simple project. Next things we'll ask you, well, what development approach you want to use? You want to use sequential, Big Bang, or Agile? And that's what we have. We have Big Bang development, and we have Agile development, uh, or iterative incremental. If you choose iterative incremental, then you will move on to the next question. However, if you choose um, traditional or Big Bang, notice there is another box come up. And usually it says how many substages, and maybe we need to clarify here, we mean substages and the implementation stage. When you go to execution, do you wanna have one stage, like one EPC contract, one design build contract, or you wanna separate design from build, or you wanna separate engineering from procurement from construction? So you have the choices of having one stage, two stage, or three stage. Now let's say we wanna do incremental. We don't wanna do this, so we'll do incremental, right? And then the final question here is that, or is this project will lead to some operation, which means I need to do some operation readiness. Uh, so if we have ops, we said include operation related stages, or I would say no, uh, uh, and then don't include that. So, and I will show you how does that mean. So now we have a general project small simple project, incremental development with operation. So if you preview the PLC, you will notice that shows implementation stage here with the increment, and then we'll show that there are operation stages. Now, let me go back and show you, if I choose this one, okay? Ah, it shows there is no tailored method, right? So that means we are saying uh, all these projects will probably include some sense, some action, some operational related activity, uh, uh, operational readiness, maybe hiring some people, training some people. So what we are saying here, uh, obviously no operation. It doesn't make sense for us. We did not create a tailored method for it, right? Now, once you do that, said, okay, uh, then I will go back to this option, get tailored. Now we're not done yet. Right, because we still, as you noticed, I was able to go back and forth. And finally, I will have to do what we call accept. So if you accept this method, okay, I will accept this method. And now it asks me for something that, uh, about the schedule that we did not discuss before. So I'm gonna skip for now. So now we have a project and basically, it has a method selected. 